Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to simplify the square root of this fraction. And as you can see, this fraction on the numerator, we got this huge, huge number divided by once again, a huge number minus one. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video tutorial, I will also show you the power of number patterns. So sit back and relax and see how I proceed. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on the denominator over here, this huge number minus one. And I have just copied it down over here, this denominator. Let's go ahead and simplify this one. So this huge number minus one is going to give us just a one less from this last digit, isn't it? So that number is going to become one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now let's talk about the power of these number patterns now. And now let's start off with these number. 11 times 11 is always, everybody knows, is 121. And now instead of 11 times 11, if I say 111 times 111 is going to give us 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So here's the rule right now. So there are three of these numbers. So three is going to come at the middle. First, we're going to count the number 1, 2, 3, and then we count backward 2, 1. So once again, 1, 2, 3, and then 3, 2, 1. And here's another number. This time we have a four ones. That means 1,111 times 1,111. So the way is going to be one, two, three, four. We're gonna go to four, then we're gonna count backward. Four, three, two, one. And if we keep move expanding these ones, we're gonna see a Pacific pattern. Let's focus on this last row over here. As you can see, how many ones are there? We have, let's count the ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these eight of them, and likewise over here, these ones, we have eight of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones, isn't it? and here eight ones. No wonder I put down eight in the middle over here. So the way we're gonna count is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna stop at eight, and then we're gonna count backward. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Isn't that amazing? So therefore, this number, as you can see, is same as this number, so I can write this number as the product, this times this factors of these eight ones. So therefore, this could be written as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here's our next step. Let's focus on the numerator right now on this number, which is huge number once again. And here I have copied down that numerator right up here. And now we are going to manipulate this huge number by finding a certain pattern. So therefore we have to be very creative. And this time I have just come up with this number 99 times 11 is always going to give us 1089. And now instead of two digits, if I three digits right now, 999 times 111, this time it's going to give us 110889. And what if we have a four digits? This time it is 9,900. 99 times 1111, then we are going to have a three ones, then zero, 
three eights and nine and now we can see a clear pattern if we have these four digit number then we're gonna have these ones one less and these eight one less that means if these are four of them then we're gonna have these three ones and three eights likewise if we have a three nines then we're gonna have a two ones and two eights and if we have a two nines then we're gonna have a just one and then one eight and if we keep repeating this process until we get these number of ones and number of eights same as these number of ones and these number of eights in our this numerator and we know the numbers of these ones are going to be one two three four five six seven ones seven ones and these you see over here one two three four five six seven eights so we can see over here one two three four five six seven these ones and likewise these seven eights so that means this is the right kind of number so corresponding these number the factor is going to be this one our this huge number so therefore this numerator could be written as a product of these two factors let's go ahead and write down nine nine these eight of them three four five six seven eight times these eight ones one two three four five six seven and eight now let's go ahead and replace these numerators and denominators by their factors that's what i'm going to do on the top the numerator is going to be just simply this number i'm going to write down nine these one eight of them so four five six seven eight times eight ones two three four five six seven and eight and likewise i have replaced these denominator by this factor over here as you can see and now you can see that we this number and this number this crosses out and now we ended up with these just the nines divided by these ones since they have the same number of digits so that means this reduces to just simply square root of nine that means our answer to this problem turns out to be three so thus our simplified answer turns out to be three thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye